powerful. I'm the author of my own life. I'm the one who dictates and creates my own destiny. It's me. I'm powerful. Look at me. And when I accomplish things that they go my my way and I've accomplished them, then, you know, I pat myself on the shoulder and saying that, oh yeah, look at me, look at me, I did it. But completely fail to look at the parts that when things don't go my way, I fail to see that, that there is something else bigger than me doing things. So I ignore it. Just look at the parts that things going my way. That's the only part that I focus on. But when you fall back inside yourself and you go deep, and you know you are, but you're really not anything. Like in this moment, you can examine it for yourself. Close your eyes and without touching your body, Try to locate your body. Without touching your legs or arms. There is sensations. You, you have sensations. But the body disappears. If you pay attention, you do it a few times. You're here, you're quiet, you're not engaged with anything. You will have, you will experience sensations of the body, but if you don't open your eyes, where is the body? And where are you? Where are you located in this body? Majority of people, when I ask them that question, they're referring to their head. As if they are located in their head. That's where they are. But is that really where you're at? Where is your location? The you, real you, that is hearing me right now. Where is your seat? Seat, where are you? Are you in the heart area? Are you in your legs area? Are you in your stomach? Are you in your head? Where is your real location? Where is, what's your address? So if you're just quiet and you check things out, there's not even a body there. It's just space. There's presence, there's awareness, but it doesn't have, it's not it's an, an object. It's simply aware until you open your eyes and then you 
identify with the body which is here. You call it my body. Why you say my body? Has ever, ever anyone questioned that? Why do you say my body? Have you ever thought about that? My body, why do I need to say it? Why do I need to say my body? If I am the body, then why am I saying my body in language? I mean, I say my phone. This is a phone I have. I say my pen, this is an object belongs to me, but I'm not the pen, it just belongs to me. And I can change it with a different pen. Okay, I don't like this pen, I'm going to use this pen. And if this phone doesn't work, then I buy another one, because it's my phone. So, why do you say my body? I need to be nice to my body. I, mean, I need to be kind to my body. I need to put better food in my body. I need to take care of my body. As if it's a child or it's a horse. You got a horse. Your horse is in a stable. You go visit it. And you need to take care of it groom it and wash it and ride it. Anybody here have an idea? Hi, Brida. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, I, um, I value my body because it supports my spirit. Uh, yeah. Spirit is, is the more eternal, of course, and the ongoing before the after and the time less. But nevertheless, it's contained in this life in my body. It oh, carries food, right. so I need to nurture and care for it. I yeah, but hold on, hold on. Let me stop you right there. Uh, my question is, why do you say my body, my body? Because it's not your body, it's mine. Okay, so, <laughs> so it's, then it's an object that belongs to you. Is that right? Yes. Well, it's a very personal object. It's a very personal object. It's specifically made for you, but it's still an object. Yes. Yes. It is. Great. Yes. You're referring to an object. Yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you. We're referring to an object. So. This is my book. Am I the book or am I me? This is my book. I wrote it. I published it. But am I this book or am I me? Same thing. You say my emotions. Oh, Zarathustra, my feelings are so hurt. You really, you said something or my husband says something or my boss says something at work and my feelings get hurt. You again say, my feelings, my emotions. Why do you say that? Why are you referring to your feelings as an object? Or my mind, my mind's driving me crazy. Zaratustra, can you help me? My mind's going crazy. I have all these crazy thoughts. It's driving me nuts. I can't stop my mind. I'm constantly thinking. 